I want to explore the Elemental CSS grid a little bit more just to again clarify how we can kind of span items and have a particular layout. I have over here a container which is currently set as a grid and it is a 4x3. In case you're not sure about that, let me just show you what it would have been from scratch. I was to create a brand new grid and I just went for something like this, which is just a container. Well, it's a grid with two containers, or not two containers, two placeholders there. If you go over here, I've gone and then said, give me a four column, uh, well, four columns across and three as a row. Don't worry about the height of that because you can adjust that to be as big as you want. But that's basically the layout that I was going for. I also set the gaps to be zero as well. All I've done inside of each one of these is drop in a container like that. And then into each one of those containers, I've put in a header and I've given it a background color because I want you to understand the numbers as I change the layout. Also, I made sure that the auto flow for this was set as a row. So if you look over here at this one here, Every time I added in another container, it was next door. If I had changed this to go from a row to a column, it would have gone this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because we've got four by three, so it goes up to 12, but I've only used up six. And there's a reason for that, because the layout I have in mind is only gonna need six items. It doesn't matter that I don't use all of them. What we're gonna do is make number one occupy an area of two by two. Basically, it's going to occupy this area here. Two will be here, then three, then four, then five, and six will stretch all the way across here, the bottom four. And we're going to do that by putting in some CSS. And what I love is about the flexibility you can have with some unique designs over here. So you go to the Advanced tab for the container for where we have number one. You go down to custom CSS and instantly we have the look I was going for. Now, just to explain what this code does is it says select a grid column one three and grid row one three. If you don't understand layout, let me explain that again. Every time we have a line, that is the start or the end of a column. So column one, column two, start, column three, column four, column five. Even though it's a four by three, you just add on a one for how many columns there are. And even though we have three rows, you add on a one to say there are four rows. So one, two, three, four. And the code's put back in. I'm now saying container one, start at one and end at three. One, two, three. And in terms of the row or the height, start at one. Number two would have been here. There's the line. This is line number three. This is line four. So you can see what it's doing. Now you're probably wondering why have I got the media screen in there? If you watch the other tutorials, you'll understand. If you don't put this in, it looks completely wrong on the mobile, like ridiculously, it just does not look good at all. So I'm saying only apply this for anything that is say a tablet size or above. Anything below the tablet size, please make sure you do not apply this. Keep it just down to the standard you know, one column wide effect in a way. So imagine you could have like a featured image in here, or you could have like a video, or you could have like advertising products or a shop. You could even put a shop like um, the, the products widget into here if you want, or the post widget, whatever you want, a loop grid. And you could have different separate items in here. And then I'm gonna go over to this one, and I'm now gonna replicate what I've done before. This time I'm just saying start at column one, and end at column five, one, two, three, four, five. Remember, it's a four column grid. So you add one, five takes us all the way to the end. If I had gone and said four, it would stop over there. So you can see what the logic is doing. And now I'm occupying my estate, all 12 squares, the way I want. So I can now put like, you know, a, a massive amount of text into here. Now, of course, you will notice that there is like these spare blocks over here because we didn't use all of them. But rest assured that when you're previewing it, you don't have to put spaces in there. You don't have to put any CSS to hide them, even though they are available for you. Because we never added any content into there, it's technically invisible. So you don't need to worry about it. But this is like a complete total bespoke layout that we're building here. And it's a great, it is really a satisfying way to build just using like the CSS grid. And I strongly recommend you try it out and start using some of these custom CSS codes to get the look you want. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break.
always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.